But see, I thought in my case it was going to be different because I had J.D. Salinger. The uh, child is a guest in the home. I thought I would cling to that idea. I would repeat it in my head like a mantra. The child is a guest in the home. <laughs> and it would protect me. And it would keep me serene. And I would weather the vicissitudes of parenting like a guru on a mountaintop. The child is a guest in the home. <laughs> I enjoy company as much as anybody. <laughs> but you don't usually get guests like this. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us. So, uh, can I take your coat, we'll bring you a beverage, dispose of your bodily waste? Um, other, um, other guests don't demand that, and other guests know when the party's over. And if they don't, you can drop a hint. Oh, look how late it is, or put on your pajamas. But there's no hint blunt enough for these people. Um, I swear, at the end of the evening, you can help them into their coats, show them to the door, give them a little hug, shake their hand, and send them out into the night. Next morning, there they are on your doorstep with the cat in the morning paper. Um, you know that's true. How many nights have I drifted off to sleep um, chanting, the child is a guest in the home, <laughs> only to be awakened a few hours later by the racket of my wife getting up to ten, the honored guest. <laughs> now what does the guest want at this hour? You know how parents say they can tell the difference between the, all the different cries that a baby makes, and, and they know what each cry means. The 2 a.m. cry is easy to understand. It says, listen up, you got two choices. You can listen to me wail until the neighbors alert the authorities. <laughs> Why don't you bring me some milk? I like it warm. 98 degrees, 99 in particular. And guess what I want to serve you? And I'm thinking, serve you? Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't that supposed to be my playground? But, you know, I'm way, way too mature to say it. So I just saw it like a man. 